Hello and welcome back to another video. So today's video I am starting off in the reseed and um, as you can see there behind me it is looking really well. I'm just down here actually to take away all the fencing that I put up my Fort Knox that I was so proud of and then the cattle got in here like four or five times <laughs> um, but they didn't once I got the proper battery for the fence that did keep them out in fairness except for that day that they broke in and then dad drove through in the gate or after them I thought they'd never come after that but thankfully it has now it doesn't all look as good as what's behind me there are a couple of patches I'll show you properly with my head out of it anyway but here you can maybe tell there it's a little bit lighter but the main thing is there's grass on everything so um, it should be good and look once it gets a good feed from the cattle it should all thicken up and things so looking forward to getting them back in here now to feed it they'll come in here once they're done with where we moved them to in the last video or the video before so um, it's coming on really nice other things I have to do in today's video I do have to do a bit of fencing above in the uh, where we cut the first cut silage um, because the cattle will be grazing that for the rest of the season they'll probably we're thinking about splitting them now um, so maybe the cows and calves will come down here and the yearlings will go up above because touch wood we won't need to bring them down to the shed uh, for a long time so we'll see it's just to try and stretch the grass in each place so that we're not moving them every two weeks that's what we want to try and avoid anyway so I must do a little bit up there I do need to hang a gate I have been putting that off for three months I don't know why I don't know why I don't just do it so I'm not going to promise that I'm doing it in this video but maybe if I say it it will push me to do it I mentioned in my previous video that Norma is lame so that was on the Friday evening that we noticed that today is Sunday so obviously we couldn't get anyone out since so dad's going to ring the hoof guy to give him his official title uh, tomorrow morning and hopefully he'll come out Tuesday uh, first of all because I want her seen to she's very uncomfortable on it she's spending an awful lot of time lying down and that's not good for her and it's not good for the calf either so hopefully we might bring them all up to the shed tomorrow evening if he can come and uh, Norma and her calf will stay in and we'll actually do little red she has a big toenail on her uh, it doesn't seem to be affecting her but it will only get worse so we might as well nip it now so if we keep the two lots of cow and calf in hopefully he'll sort them out on Tuesday that's what this video will entail anyway I'll get started and uh, yeah That's me now, loaded up and uh, a lot of equipment back in use, which is good. Now I came down to just top up their water there. They were nearly out again. That's twice already today and I'll have to come down again tonight, maybe around nine or ten and give them some more because I'm working in the morning and it would save me a trip down. I gave them some grass as well while I was here. Again, they probably would have waited till tomorrow, but because I'm working, I didn't want to be doing it in the morning. That's all of them there. You'll see Norma is standing there, which is great as well. Uh, I'd be a bit worried now if she got into fresh grass and wasn't eating. Uh, so that's a good sign, but she has spent the vast majority of the day now lying down. So hopefully we'll get her sorted. They're looking good in the sunshine there now, I must say. Now, so I am up here to tackle this behind me. I actually started it yesterday. I pulled out the wire, so much of it is rusted. It is just 
a bigger job than I thought it was going to be, as always, especially when it comes to fencing. So I've trimmed back a bit just so that I can run the wire. Um, I ran out of juice on the hedge cutter, so I had to stop so you can see it starts to get wild there down. Um, and I have at least twice of what I've done yet to do. So I'm gonna get into that. I actually brought up the posts and I have them laid out. You might be able to see the pigtails lined up along that's just to highlight where I've put them so I'll bang those in and it looks like I'm going to have to replace the wire which I was really hoping I wouldn't have to do but even if I get the posts in today now um, and get the hedge trimming done uh, it won't be too bad and I can always get some wire I'm going to see what I can reuse and then just cut out any of the the rusted bits and pieces it's the real low tensile wire as well so it's a bit it is a bit useless to be honest but um you'll see the grass here is coming and you will also see the dock leaves behind me so I just want to show you something interesting here um I won't look for them now I have other videos so I'll just put it up to show you the dock beetles that we have. So last year, I'd say I saw one all year and I had never seen them before that. Maybe it's because I didn't know what they were before. But this year we have loads of them. And basically their diet consists of dock leaves solely. And they basically just strip the leaves off them and kill them off. So it's great to have them. Uh, I'm hoping to relocate some of them and just see how I get on. I'll cut off a few leaves and uh, put them in a container and move them to different parts of the farm. I do think that works because there is actually a couple somewhere in Ireland who harvest them or however you put it and sell them. So maybe I'll do a Jeremy Clarkson on it and <laughs> farm the the unfarmed here and do a little dock beetle business but uh, no we have plenty of docks here anyway that uh, I can get them working on but it's just something to try and look the cattle will be up here soon enough and I'd like to take them out of here before they come up here because I just don't want them killing them or damaging them I was even trying to avoid them with the gator you know I just don't want to be killing them off because they're great to have and not everyone has them so but that's that. Uh, I can't procrastinate anymore and put off doing this job, so I might as well just get stuck into it now.
I'm just going to very briefly show you Norma when she was getting her hoof done and what it looked like before and after. Um, just the hoof guy isn't uh, too fond of the camera, so I won't show him too much. They're being walked back down by the others. I'm out of breath, they took off. Now the two cows are back down with their calves and they've joined the rest of them here. So um, in fairness, they were very well behaved. I've often had far more difficulty trying to get big black in there and big red when they were around. Um, so in fairness, it all went very smoothly. Um, as I showed the clips there, Norma had a drop on her hoof and the hoof guy said that is probably the sorest place to have it for her. So that's why she would have been so lame um, so he put the shoe on her and hopefully that'll just help it heal um, and take the pressure off it we'll just keep an eye on her and if we need to give her a shot we will but we'll give her a few days and hopefully she'll um, improve nicely and then little red it was just trimming her her big toenails um, which was absolutely grand and straight back down they were so um, that's them I, it's very breezy, sorry. Um, I need to go up and just finish that bit of fencing I started the last day. I just need to put the wire up and do that. I still haven't put that gate up, but as I said, I'm not promising to do that um, in this video. But uh, yeah, I'll finish that off anyway, that bit of fencing. And uh, I'd say that might be it for this video then. Now that's me done up here. All I did was put up the wire today. Everything else was done, so I didn't record it. There was nothing exciting in it. Just me struggling with high tensile wire. Never again. Once that roll is gone, it's gone. <laughs> um, but um, it's nice. You can probably see it behind me over there. Um, I'm trying to shelter from the wind. The weather has changed considerably. So um, you'll see as well, I have my temporary fence up here. So I am ready to go. I have the water cleaned out. So the cattle will be coming up here tomorrow, I would assume. And I'm going to strip graze it both ways, actually. So I'm going to strip graze down because this is just too much to give them, but I have to bring them to the water here. So we'll strip graze downwards first. And then once they get down to the end there, I will start strip grazing up. So look, we should get a good amount of time up here. It will be eight or nine nine cattle up here um so they should get some decent uh time out of it the grass as you can see has come on fantastic in the past two weeks really we badly needed it um this weather isn't the nicest weather for july in ireland but it's good for grass growing it's really humid i do not need this jacket but it could rain at any minute um so yeah this is grass growing weather at last but that is it for today in the next video i'll hopefully show ye the shed door done because he's coming tomorrow to do that which will be great um to see it done and i'll have another few bits and pieces on over the next week or so anyway so i'll bring you along with that anyway but that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. If you liked it, give me a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you.